as you can see here, I took a DVD duplicator and I added five Blu-ray drives to it to see if this is going to work. I've been told by a few places that I can't do it and I've also been told I can do it. So I'm going to try it. Um, what I'll do now, I'm going to switch it on and um, see what happens. I took the master drive and I put it above the controller. Okay, looking for the source. I added the Blu-ray in as a source, not a DVD. Okay, it sees it as a Blu-ray. So now what I'm going to do is, um, I've got three copies to make, not four, because I've got four, four drives. Only the three, see what happens. Found the three. Saying okay. Okay, it's now it's copying them. Okay, it's hard to see the speed going up. Okay, it's copying at four speed, four times speed. Okay, I'm gonna switch off now and come back when it's almost done. Okay, it's now at 98%, so it's almost ready. Let's see what happens. And it's about 18 minutes later, so it's about one gig a minute. And what I'm going to do after this, I'm going to fill all the bays with DVDs, uh, see if they all copy at the same speed, which it should. Finished. Result pass three fail zero. Okay, now I'm going to do is I'm going to replace them all with DVDs. You're going to master.
Let's tell it. I'm going to copy all 11. So it sees it as all DVDs. So just to explain again what I've done, I took a DVD duplicator, um, it's got 12 pays, um, I replaced the top 5 with Blu-ray drive, um, because I don't need so many Blu-ray drives, and everything works fine. Yeah, you can see a difference in the drives, the Blu-ray drive's got a blue light, DVD drive's got a green light. So I'll just wait until it's finished to see if they all pass. We are 98%, almost finish. Okay, all passed. So it can be done, just remember to, um, to put your master or your source as a, a Blu-ray drive, otherwise it won't copy the Blu-rays.